And now we're going to look at the lines. So the first line is about introspection, is about investigation, it's about aloneness, it's the foundation for everything. So here I believe we have an incredible depth. And I feel the 48 for me is very feminine and in the body. And the line one for me is also physical in the body. So here I believe we have a wisdom that's deep, deep, deep into the body, but there is also pain that is deep, deep, deep into the body. This makes me think about the first seal that is coded by Jinky 40, which is that repress, 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 repression and, and pain deep inside of the bones that is the accumulated pain, we could say, from all our ancestors and where we sometimes don't dare to look. And that could be the shadow frequency of this 48. We don't want to look that deep. We don't want to feel the pain and the loneliness in our bones. So we repress it and we're not completely honest, even with ourselves. And when, when that happens, there's nothing else that can happen that we can't open up to the beauty of the other lines. We can't open up to the other or to the transpersonal. We're stuck in, in the shadow frequencies of our ancestry, not working uh, to resolve, dissolve, um, that karma that we came here to resolve so that the light can come cracking through that physicality, the bones, the cells. Um, so self-honesty and daring to go deep and, and yeah, be courageous and bold is what the first line uh, has to do. And then there is this enormous, beautiful uh, well of wisdom. And the second line is always uh, in the spiral. It's... Um, it's like the polarity is the first line. So here it's all about, it's all about we, it's all about the other, it's all about the mirroring with other. And in the low frequency, there's a lot of projection. So here we can think about kids when they start school, for example, and they start to look at each other, like how are they dressed? You know, what, what lunch did your parents give, give you uh, to bring to school? And there can be this projection that creates inadequacy in 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 kids uh, and that make them kind of self-sabotage or they make them lash out at each other or maybe you know have one scapegoat there are kids that are that are projecting everything wrong on one child and then it makes them feel a little bit better uh, but it's really it's really that projection that isn't that isn't true friendship that isn't true reciprocity at all so the second line needs to learn to actually use the other as a mirror, to learn more about itself, maybe even more about its own inadequacies so that it can work through them, become aware, and then together move into a higher frequency. So it's this kind of dance and naturalness of, of a learning process with, with the other in the higher frequency. And then we come to the third line. Um, and here, since we were speaking about taste before as one of the keywords for 48, well, I feel like the third line here is going to have to try everything. <laughs> it's going to try all the tastes. It's going to kind of have also failed when it comes to creating harmony or creating a dish that is, you know, exactly the right amount of salty, the right amount of whatever taste it is. So it's, it's a dynamic process of trial and error and knowing then exactly what harmony and, and taste is. Um, I believe in a low frequency when it comes to the interpersonal that the third line can escape. When it feels inadequacy, it escapes the relationship. So it never gets to work through it. So if the first line represses and never looks at, at it, the third line never stays long enough to feel it and to actually become aware enough to, to work through it. Is that yeah, the escapism because you don't want to feel like you are failing. So here in the higher frequency, it's to be able to stay no matter what happens and even have that kind of humbleness and compassion for yourself and others. And yeah, the compassion and the humor even of saying, wow, life has so many good tastes and so many bad tastes. That's what it is to be human, which is very powerful when the third line can do that. And then we come up to the transpersonal line. So here it's always kind of with the other for the benefit of the collective and the other. Even if with the first, second and third line, the other is there with the fourth, fifth and sixth line, it's like the process is of, of benefits for the collective or it's transpersonal. Uh, so the fourth line, it has 
it is harmonic with the first line. And I believe there is this repression from the first line in the shadow frequency where we can't be self-honest. Well, for sure in the fourth line, the heart is going to be closed. And when the heart is closed, there is no harmony. Because the heart is like the true place of truth. It's not the mind, it's the heart. So as long as the heart is closed, it is not going to be able to be versatile and resourceful uh, because that comes from the heart and, and, and the love. And the, so the fourth line with a closed heart is always going to feel inadequate on the inside. And I think, however, that on the outside, it might seem resourceful because that's the truth. The 48 is inherently resourceful. So that it feels like the fourth line is going to feel really alone on the inside. And maybe on the outside, it's going to be seen as fine or seen as even intelligent and resourceful, but it's not going to be able to drink from its own well. And then the fifth line is harmonic with the second line. So if the second line has this thing from school where one kid was picked at all the time, well, in the fifth line, you know, if that continues a whole life, and then the fifth line has really developed some kind of yeah, mental patterns that can be kind of sick <laughs> in a way, in the worst case, where you know it is blaming and it's blaming guilt itself and the other. And it feels like whatever it does, relationships just become more complex and more projection and 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 yeah, more more inadequacy. But also I believe the fifth line doesn't want to even even admit its own inadequacies. It might lash out at the other. Uh, or create some kind of persona. Very complex, complex mind games can happen for the fifth line. So same as with the fourth line, I believe we won't always see the fifth line as inadequate because it's going to have some, some strategies, some, you know, um, in the low frequency, it's not going to be healthy solutions, going to be unhealthy solutions for not to not be seen as, as a failure kind of thing. In the higher frequency, it's going to have so many tools. This is like the biggest toolbox of them all. The 48 is that resourcefulness and the fifth line has understood the process of all the other lines. So it has all the tools <laughs> and it can really make a difference. It can be a really, really big shift um, where we all step into a higher, a higher wisdom um, when it comes to both relationships and our own body. I believe for the fifth line because I th feel like this this 48 is so deep into the body and then with the sixth line it's already beyond it's already overlooking to the next hexagram so the fifth line is kind of that the end of the process and the sixth line is, is the overview and it's already overlooking into the 57 which is the the gate of intuition um, so here you know it's it is about having tastes again, all the taste, like we we're saying that with the third line and the, the third and the sixth line are harmonic. So the sixth line has had the whole dynamic process of the third line and it's, it has, it has, it, it is embodying all that, that wisdom that comes from the trial and error. So here we have like an exponential wisdom because we have the wisdom of the 48 and then the wisdom of the sixth line. Um, and I think when you have a double wisdom, you could become a little bit arrogant. And that's what can happen with the sixth line. It can feel wiser, better than all the other lines. And then it doesn't want to play. And other people might see it, either look up to it or kind of feel that disconnection and that arrogance and the isolation that's similar to the isolation of the first line because it always goes back to a first line in the next gate. So important for the sixth line to, to embrace its hum humanness and to still be part of the process, to still be human, to still play with the tools and not just sit there on the roof and not play with the tools anymore. And then as the six line moves through the world, that's when it's gonna already, you know, you can feel that it has an intuition on what tool <laughs> should I use for this next situation, for this next relationship. So it's already feeling into the, the 57 and it has a kind of clear audience about it as it listens to people and I think just by listening and being in the or like by its listening and the sixth line having other people in its aura I think that inadequacy can resolve somehow yeah powerful jinky